Yeah, I just have a, a short trivia. Did you know that you were number one in Mississology's pre-arrival hot picks for Miss World? I <laughs> so it was did know that. Some, so it was some uh, something prophetic. Yeah, I think you guys did a good. You guys did a good job. That was something actually my mom sent me um, before. She was like, "Oh my god, look, people want you to win. Look." <laughs> <laughs> and actually, it was Stephen who wrote that article. Um, was yeah, it? just and yeah, just uh, some trivia to the people around there. In the 2016 Miss World, I was so heavily invested on that edition because I was the one who was writing all of the articles about the hot picks. Whatever articles you had about the 2016 Miss World, chances are it's me who wrote those articles. And <laughs> when when Drew actually reminded me that you were number one in the pre-arrival hot picks, I was like, hey, what did I write about her? <laughs> <laughs> because there's just so many articles that I had to write during that time that sometimes you run out of things to say to justify yeah. who's number one and number two and number three. And then because we have almost the same girls, being number one and number two, number three, and blah blah blah. So, I was joking, and I, and I asked Drew, Drew, what did they say about <laughs> Stephanie during that time? <laughs> you said really good words about her. About but her. We really have to justify. Head. Yeah, we really have to justify why you were number one before you arrived in Washington D.C. And then at least we had you as number one to pre-arrival hot picks. So yeah, yeah. yeah. we usually was- have a very good very good um record when it comes to pre-arrival hot picks right yes, yes i've actually noticed that with you with with, with mythology actually in, in general you guys are usually pretty pretty spot on well it's not easy to predict especially miss world we'd have more than 100 contestants how could you actually mm-hmm. predict the, the winner yeah. exactly you know it, it's, and uh, miss, it's miss, miss, miss world is so long and like you said has so many contestants that it's only as the weeks go by that you really get to know who is who and who can be in this yeah. world. So even even in that sense, like she can be the most beautiful contestant, but she doesn't have certain qualities that you think a Miss World should have. And so it's like, it's it doesn't match up. <laughs> yeah, same thing that was uh, shared to us by Mireya when we interviewed mm-hmm. her like two months ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And uh, now going back to your Miss World, uh, Miss World stint. So, um, you've been placing in uh, a lot of uh, fast track events, but um, at what point in the competition did you feel that you have a really good shot at winning that blue crown? Um, I actually never felt that. I didn't really? think I was going to win. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to win. So mm-hmm. the first, the first um, fast track that we had was talent. And I based in this my final talent. So in that moment, I was feeling really good. But then mm-hmm. as sports went by and beauty with a purpose, multimedia, um, top model, like I felt like I was doing good, but I wasn't placing. And so I did get a little frustrated, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it came, it, it, the frustration very quickly turned into like, um, well, since you might not win, Let's just enjoy. Let's enjoy the moment. Enjoy the time. That, enjoy the people that you're getting to know. Um, the, these friendships, these experiences that are, are are once in a lifetime. And so I took I in as the weeks went by, I I took less and less pressure. You know, more and more pressure off of myself. And and my main focus was like represent Puerto Rico well and have fun. And I think, yeah. and I think that's why, in the end, I ended up doing so well because I, I wasn't focused on I have to win, I have to win, I have to win. I was just, I was just really happy with everything that I had experienced. I think that's also one one thing that uh, other girls who want to join pageants to to get from you, to to pick up from you that that yeah. mentality of just enjoying. Because uh, there's already a lot of pressure, especially from the fans, and then yeah. from the inside pressure from competing with a hundred other girls. So I think that's a good tip. So yeah, that, that's something I, I always try. To, that. Yeah, that's something I always try to tell the girls as well. Whenever I get mm-hmm. asked, um, "What is one thing that you have to say to all the contestants that are participating in wherever?" I always say the same thing. It's just you know, like 
I know it's very stressful and I know it can be really difficult, but to take the pressure off and enjoy the moment because this is something that even if you compete in 100 pageants, they're all going to be different. And all the people that you're going to meet are going to be different. So just enjoy, like live in the now, live in that moment. And no matter what the end result is, you're going to be so satisfied with with you experienced. And who are you closest to during that time? Because there were a hundred other girls. Yeah. So I'm so, sure it's hard to get to know all of them. Yeah, I actually, I didn't, I didn't get to know all of them, um, which is sad. But that's because in Miss World, since we are so many, they divide us to different groups. So my year, we were red, white, and blue. I was on the white team. And I was very, very good friends with all of the contestants from the white team. Um, but I was the closest with um, Latina girls. So my roommate, Panama, uh, El Salvador, Argentina, Nicaragua, Dominican Republic. What am I missing? No. Argentina, Panama, El Salvador, Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, and me. Yeah, we were six. <laughs> uh -huh. Six of us, we were, we were always together. And it, and it was a really nice dynamic between us because since we were six, three of the girls didn't speak English. And so we would always be like in different pairs translating for each other, mm -hmm. which was always really fun. And um, there were also a bunch of other girls that I was really good friends with, like New Zealand, South Africa, uh, Mongolia. Uh, just, I, I, I can't even name them all because there really were so many. Um, I would say those were like the ones I was like the closest, closest with. And you and Dominican Republic ended up as the one and two during yeah. the finals. <laughs> yeah, we did. I don't know if you've noticed, but there are moments like in the final when like Yaritza is, because um, every single time she gets called before I do. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> this is something I, I miss because my, my, my parents love to watch the final like 50 times a week they still it's been uh -huh. four years and they still love to watch it all the time <laughs> totally understandable <laughs> but yeah if you if you notice um since we were friends like every time that she would get called like i would do anything i could to like let her know how proud of her i was because mm -hmm. since she would get called in that moment i was like okay so you're the representation of the latinas you're the representation um, the Caribbean girls of, of our friends from here on out. So like, go 100% because because you're gonna do great, you know. Um, and 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 in the end, yeah. And then in the end, we were one and two. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to um, some of our viewers. Uh, someone said hi. Uh, Angelo said hi from Philippines. Hi, Angelo. And then uh, Gustavo Noriega said, uh, she's so genuine and well-spoken. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Gustavo. Yeah. And uh, Dave Rosado said, Stephanie, so beautiful. Oh, thank I you. I definitely Dave. agree. Especially if you've seen her in person and up close. Person. Her, like, face to face, like this close. She's so pretty. Oh, I you guys are so you. sweet. Thank you. No, you have to be you're, you're really very pretty, even on and off stage. It's. Uh, is a natural glow. I'm I'm pretty sure that the the Miss World Selection Committee has seen that oh. inner glow from you. That's the reason why they have chosen you Thank as the winner. You. Thank you. Well, it's easier to say that right now because we are in 2020, mm -hmm. and uh, back then, of course, we had so many political cons. cons what, what's the right conspiracy, conspiracy. <laughs> um yeah we have like some conspiracy theories about how miss world winners are being selected blah 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 but as mm -hmm. time passes by eventually we realize that um the miss world organization are the people behind the organization are secretly hunting already who's the one they're gonna crown on the final night because the final night would basically be just a culmination of all the things that have transpired prior to that. Yeah. And uh, by by saying that everything has to be done within one night and to choose the winner, it's uh, basically not it's Miss It's almost World. impossible. Yeah. yeah, it's not Miss World. It's yeah, not Miss, Miss World, World is really a full-time job. Mm -hmm. um, it's different from our organization because Miss International is different. Mm -hmm. It's not really a full-time job to be a Miss International. I'm sure you know Valerie Hernandez. Yeah, um, we're 2014 very winner. Yeah. Yeah, She won two years before you won mm -hmm. Miss World. 
So it's not a full-time job in Miss International. In Miss World, it is a full-time job. So that's the reason why Miss World people really had to to judge carefully each girl's every day. And that's why you ended up as a winner. Yeah. I mean, that's also why, like I said before, that's why the the competition is so long. Mm -hmm. Because... It's 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 a very you know consuming job like like you said it's a full time job, um, it's an amazing job but it it can be very very difficult and the the competition is so long to see how the girls would react if they were to be this world and that's why we have rehearsals till very late all the time and that's why you know we we wake up very early and the girls have to be punctual and the and there's so many different things that 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 we're looking for and why the interview is also super important because that's the time when people that's actually true. really get to know you. So there, there's a lot that goes into Miss World that that does it, that you don't see before the final night. I mean, now now you do because now we have the head-to-head -head challenge and yeah. we have social media, so it's a lot easier for everyone to get to know the, the contestants at the same time that, that the organization is getting to know the contestants. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah. <laughs>